everybody. Thank you for joining me at Lori Houston Art. I am so, so very excited to be with my friends this Friday night. Joanne, Janet, Cindy, and Donna. Thank you so much for inviting me to be a guest. It feels so good to be back on a train and share my flower pops. So I am doing a, if this is a tester, I've literally got a 10 by 10 canvas. I absolutely love gladiolas. I love planting the bulbs and then seeing the beautiful flowers. This end result turned out very nice. It's far from a gladiola, but it's my first tester. And I can tell that um, there's gonna be some future gladiolas really soon. I do love the end result and I learned a lot during this piece. So right now we're going to go ahead and I've decided to use pinks and purples. We're gonna start with uh, medium magenta. I have a little bit of Arteza Violet left here. I'm gonna add that. That color just really, really does well in these flower pops. Um, I love Amsterdam Permanent Red Purple. We're gonna put some of that on here as well. That really accents um, the magenta. I had an, another bottle, an uh, unmarked bottle, or a custom color here. Um, so we're gonna use that because I need some contrast. I think that um, I tend to use a lot of the same uh, colors in the color palette that are in the same family and I really need to get a little bit of depth. Um, then I decide to lighten it up a bit and um, I got a goober in there. And after I put this custom color down, I want to put down some Quinacridone Rose by Amsterdam just to lighten it up just a little bit. Um, I think Amsterdam paints do very well in this process. All of my paints are mixed two and a half to three parts Floetrol to one part paint and then water to consistency. And that is going to be a medium consistency, not thin like a, a pearl pour, Dutch pour, and not thick like a ring pour, kind of in between. Um, so I have a little bit left of that um, Arteza Violet. We're gonna lay that down and then we are going to spread the paints out. Let's get started. Okay, so I am getting ready to um, just spread this out with a popsicle stick again. This is an experiment. I am using a 10 by 10 canvas, which is a little bit difficult. I don't usually do flower pops on a small canvas, but every time I film and I'm experimenting, I end up loving it. So why not just have your camera running? Um, and so when I experiment, sometimes I don't talk because I'm focused on what I'm doing. So that's why you've got voiceover here in the beginning. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the bubbles and I'm using just a white uh, paint for swiping. That's another really important key for these flower pops. If I do a transparent thin white, um, I tend to leave some of the paint on top of the canvas, on top of the, the paints that I laid down, and also the paper towel. This is a shop towel. This is a lot thicker. So today I'm using a medium body white paint. A shop towel tends to grab more of that white paint and it just really pulls a lot of paint off the canvas. So I've had a lot of questions. A lot of you are trying the Flower Pop. I'm so excited. I love to hear from you. If you try it and you need help, please reach out. Um, I've been doing these for a little bit over a year and um, now I'm experimenting with different techniques. Um, I have a Pearl Pour Flower Pop collaboration that I'm doing with Tara from Pieces of Tara's Artistry next week. I have some Dutch Pour Flower Pops coming out soon flip cups as well. So all of the um, paint consistencies, what you use to swipe, how thick the paint is for the swipe and the paper towel, they all make a difference when you are creating um, different types of stems, flowers, petals. It's amazing. So anyway, I could go on and on. I'm very passionate 
about these. So this was a lot of fun. I decided to stick with white just because all of my colors were very, very similar. Um, meaning I don't have a bright orange or yellow that's going to pop out here in between the petals. Um, the white does very well. All right. Hmm. I'm going to use combination, I think, of the deep dark and a line. Bit of this, not a not a thick line. Okay, and then we're gonna do a drop of white here, 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 here. This is a new technique I'm trying. I love gladiola, so we'll see. Maybe a little more white than what I'm using. Okay, so I'm really happy with how this is turning out. Um, I definitely will be doing the same exact technique again. The colors are going to probably be the key, and I am going to do a shadow pearl as my background, I think. And that way, my gladiolas will stand out even more. So that's going to be on a larger canvas coming up that I can see myself doing that. Um, I do like the um, way that the white is um, separating um, these petals so it does look more like a long gladiola. But I am pleased with these results. And I'm just going through trying to make some distinction in the center of the flower. And we are going to work on a few more flowers, and I will see you shortly. See you there. Okay, so I've decided to fiddle around with um, the flower, make some of the petals better. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm going to add, I'm not going to do a full um, gladiola. And I got thinking about this when I was finished that um, a lot of times your gladiola will open up in the very, I don't know, top four inches and the rest of the flower is not open yet. So I think on the next one, I am going to actually create some that are not quite open, maybe buds, 
down um, part of the, the stem or vine. So that'll, that'll be my next experiment when I'm doing a gladiola. But I'm just going through and I'm going to speed this up as I create these flowers and then we're going to play around with some leaves. I really think um, when I got to the end it just needed leaves. Um, the leaves are very thick and, and they're, they're more of a light color. I mean, there are different types um, of gladiolas, obviously, but um, the last ones that I grew, they had kind of a really bright um, emerald green with a bright tint of lime green. They were gorgeous. Um, I wish I had taken pictures of them so I could show you. They, they, were, they just grew so tall um, we had to actually put stakes up. So maybe I'll do that again this year and I can show some photos. I love gardening. I love flowers. So anyway, let's get down to um, creating some leaves and um, we'll see the end results here soon. Okay, we're finishing up here, and I am thrilled that we decided to use a gloss spray varnish. It's been really warm here, so it's been nice to be able to try some different ways to finish paintings, especially on a test painting like this. I use spray varnish outside. We did three coats. Actually, I should say my husband, not I. And um, the end results, uh, that magenta just popped. Um, I will use these colors again. I will do a different background and I am going to share that video um, once I complete it. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments below and thank you so much Donna and all Friday Night Friends for having me. This was so so much fun. I hope you like my gladiolas, um, this test experiment. It was so much fun.